you know, God's looking for somebody today to stand up and spread that word. You know, brother, the Lord give me a scripture. He said, even though you will have a rock, cry out in your place. You know, we can sit down on God and say, God, I'm waiting on you. But what we need to say is, God, I'm going forth. I want to take my steps. He said, the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. I know that if I walk out on that faith, the Lord said, I'll never leave you or forsake you. He said, I'll go with you, even in the sin of the earth. Amen. All we got to do is step out of that old boat, out on that water. Sometimes we get in that comfort zone that we don't want to move. But you know, brother, it's time that we get out of that comfort zone and stand on that word of God. Take that word and fight that devil. You know, he comes at you in your minds. You know, but brother, we got a word today to fight that devil. You know, when he comes at you in your mind, you know, he can't stand when that word comes forward. You know, I want to thank God for all that he's done here today. Yes. You know, I know that the Lord's going to bless it. Yes. You know, anytime you do a work for the Lord, the devil's going to fight. But if you keep pressing through, we've got a prayer that sings a sing the song that says press through. You know, sometimes he tells us, you know, it might not be easy, but you know, we got to do some pressing. You know, I think back to how Jesus went up to get crucified. You know, brother, at any time he said he could have called a number of numbered angels to come down to destroy the earth. But all the things that he had going on, he never gave in. You know, he never gave up. You know, brother, when he carried that cross up that hill, he could have took it down and said no more. But he done it for me and you tonight. You say, how do you know? Brother, he said the words on the cross. When he looked down, he said, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. He said, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Here was a man that they stretched out on the cross. I hear people sometimes say it. They had to stretch his arms out. The Lord showed it to me last night laying in bed. They didn't have to stretch his arms out, but he laid them out there for me and you. Thank you, Lord. Yeah, amen, brother. All we got to do. It's believe in God. He said the faith of a grain of a mustard seed. You know, brother, we can move mountains with that faith. But it's not by me. It's not by my wife. But it's by that living God. Yes. yes. You know, I look down here today and I see a baptism club. You know, if anybody here today wants to be baptized, you know, I'll go up there and talk to them. You know, he said, do your first works over. There might be some here today want to start their first works over. If anybody wants to be baptized today, I'll be glad to step in that pool with them. I just want to say I want to thank God you know for the chance to come here today to look around at what he's built for us you know there's a lot of history goes behind this land here today you know if you get on the internet or get out the books and read on this land right here today it talks about a group of people getting out praying yeah. Yeah. yeah, brother. Yeah. It talks about them getting a hold of God. Mm-hmm. Yes. And it talks about the Holy Ghost yeah. coming down in the midst of them. Yeah. You know, they was talking about uh, all around the lands here today uh, that there was a glow coming down. You know, they thought uh, that the woods was on fire yeah. uh, and people come running. Uh, but, brother, uh, that fire that was coming down, it was that glow of God. That was touching them. When they got down, they called out to God with an open heart and say, God, like I did that day when the Lord come down in his own church and touched this druggy, touched this alcoholic. I got down and I said, Lord, I might not be much, but what I have, I give it to you. What I got here today is a problem that I can't handle. It's on my shoulders. It's on my 
back. But Lord, I pray to you that you would take it from me. And I felt something touch my shoulder. And when I got up, a miracle happened. You say, what was it? I didn't have to go to no rehab. I didn't have to go to no AA. But what I done is got a hold of that God that knows what we have needed. The glory of the Lord is our strength. I have no strength today without Him. Without Him in my life, I would go back to this old world. I would go back to that death. You know, brother, I was thinking about the Scriptures. Come on, brother! And when the brother stretched down the boat, he said, Lord, if it's you, bid me to come. And he said he stepped out on that water, but he was doing good and long as he kept his eyes on the prize. But I got to thinking about how he went, and he started thinking about the waves coming in, the winds blowing. You know, today, we do good until a storm comes our way, until we take our eyes off the prize. But you know, brother, like in the Bible, if we get our eyes back on that prize. The Lord's going to reach down and pull us out and put it back up on top of that water. Amen. Amen. I told another day at work, a brother come up to me. He said, you don't know what I've done. It might be too late. And I put my hands on his shoulder. I said, brother, if you got a breath in you, it's not too late. If you got one more breath, it's not too late. The Lord can still pull you up. And the Lord can still touch you. I want to say this, and I'm going to turn it back over to the brother. The thing I say here today is for the glory of the Lord. I was born with what they called a waterhead. The doctor said that I'd never be the same. The doctors told them that the left side of my brain was completely dead. That I wouldn't walk. That I wouldn't talk. That I wouldn't move. Unless somebody carried me. But I want to tell you about the glory of our Lord. We was in a service in Nashville, Tennessee. And I'm just... Oh, I was standing up today, and a preacher came up to my my mom and said, "Where's he at?" And he said he's laying in our sleep. And the preacher said, "Go get him." You know that preacher had a word from God, and she went in there and got him. And the preacher laid his hands on me and started praying. And you your know, brother, he was praying to that real living God. Then my hands started forming right there in your hands. You know, brother, that same doctor that said I wouldn't walk, that I wouldn't talk, the Lord we serve had another word for me. I'm here today walking and talking because the Lord seen fit to deliver me. The Lord seen fit to pull me out of that death that I was in. And back in 97, I was in a car wreck. And the doctor said, we give him 24 hours to live. My lungs collapsed. Broke every bone in my body. And the doctor said, he's not going to make it. And the sister started getting hold of God. And she prayed out to God. And the Lord come down in the midst of that hospital. I hear real people saying, that's not impossible. But what's impossible for man is not impossible for God. The Lord come down and touched me in that hospital bed. And three days later, after the doctor said, I wouldn't live. I was walking out of that hospital on my old two feet. It's not about me today, but it's about that living God that we serve. Amen. Anything we have need of today, put your trust in God. Amen. You know, man might fail you. Your family might leave you. Your friends might leave you. But one thing about it, we serve a God today that's not going to leave us. He's not going to forget about us. You know, brother, he's not going to take us to a place that he won't make a way for us. He's not going to take us to a way and drop us off. Amen. 
The God that we serve today. Yes. The God, he's my way maker. Yes. You know, we bought, we bought, got two paths to follow today. One of them is going to send you to the gates of heaven. And the other one, I'm just being real with you today. Come on, Frank. It's going to send you to the pits of hell. You know, you hear a lot of word today going around. You know, brother, they forget about the pits of hell. You know, they say I'm prayed that I'm going to be in somebody. That I'm going to hurt somebody. You know, brother, if I hadn't got a big to do that day when I was in that service, I, I wouldn't have ever kneeled down to God. No. You know. Come on. Let's Amen. Let's There's two paths to follow today. And I'm going to ask this. I'm going to turn it back over to the brother. What path are you following today? Yes. You, you know, you look back in the older days, it was the older. 